how to send a follow-up email. If you've been to a conference, an event, or a networking event, you definitely want to send out an email to say hello to all those people that you met and send a follow-up business as business. Tip one, always write your email copy inside a Google document first. This means that you're not going to lose your work and you always have it available for next time. Now we're going to show you today how to make a template so that you always have this rough template available inside your system. And from there, you can go and edit and tweak it and make it a lot easier every time you want to send one out. I have an example of one here. I was the sponsor of an event recently and I'm going to send an email out to everyone that I met. So the first thing I'm going to to do is grab the copy of my text and head on into marketing and emails and then the email builder. The email builder is where we build our emails and then the campaigns is where we send our emails. I'm going to make this a bit bigger for you guys so you can see. First of all, you're going to want to find your master template. So click on master and you should have some masters inside the system that you've already edited. Go back and check some of my other videos there, but I will just show you how to do that very quickly in case this is your first email. Email. Inside your master template, this is where you can change your links to all of your socials by clicking on the social link, clicking edit, and you can add in all of your social media links and everything there. Now, also, you have a button where you can have a call to action, and this code here will pull in all of your email footer information. Now, if I head back one, uh, once you press save on that, Basically, if you're happy with how that email looks, each time you go to use that master, you're simply going to press clone and that will pre-fill your email. By the way, you can edit this when you go and send the email again as well, but I'm just going to give this now a new name. I've pressed clone and this is going to be the name of the actual email that I'm going to be sending out, the template that I'm going to create for post conference or event follow up. Okay, so this is just going to be for you. It's not the title of the email, the subject of the email. Um, I'm going to call that email so it's easy to find. Post conference or event follow up email, clone. Now that is going to open up this email in the builder so that we can now go in and input the content of the email. So um, hello, contact first name. Now, if you didn't have that field there in the first place, let me show you how to add that in. Over here, you have this kind of, it looks like a cursor over a field block. Open that up press contact first name, and it's going to pop in that code for you that will automatically pre-fill with your contact's actual first name. Then I'm going to paste in my email content. And of course, you can go through and add in sections, how to add this in, in sections if you like. You can add in, for instance, an image. So I might just uh, click here. I can go to edit the image on the left hand side, upload from the media library. Um, all you do is press upload a file over here. I might pull in one of my images. Yeah, I'm not going to pull in an image because I like mine to just be really simple. So <laughs> let's pop this in. Now you can change all of the, um, the formatting on all of these emails as well. So you've got your line spacing. I find that 1.5 is nicer for line spacing on emails. The more spaced out it is, um, the more easier it is for people to read. The more easy. We are going to just make sure that all the formatting looks nice. First of all, just grabbing a couple of links here because what you want to do as well as part of your formatting is checking all of your hyperlinks are hyperlinking. So if you want to hyperlink a piece of text to any web page, you highlight it, the text, you go to this little link text icon here, paste in the link URL you want people to send to, and whether you want it to open in a new window or not, press save. Now, by default, Techmatics won't color the link, so I also like to highlight it and just color it blue because people have been trained that blue usually means it's a link. Um, I'm also going to just change some of my formatting around on some of these. Once you are happy with your email, always press save. I recommend you do that frequently. This is a web-based platform. If your internet connects, connection cuts out at all, you will lose your work. That's just not a Techmatics, techmatics issue. That's all web-based web -based builders. The next thing I recommend you do is just send a test email to yourself by clicking these three tiny dots at the bottom. You're going to want to make sure that you have got everything working, all your links are working, and you know, it's nice and easy for you to, to basically get this all working. One thing I've noticed here is when I've done the test, it does look a bit ugly having a full like YouTube link or something there. So we're going to change that simply by going back to your emails. You just click on the link and it turns on the link text button up here. You can just remove this and under the link text to display, I'm just going to put the word watch. And so now it switches the URL 
the URL they're being sent to stays in place, but the text that shows just looks a little bit tidier. So let's click here and see how it just makes it much nicer. There we go. Once you've done that, you're going to press save and back, and then you're going to go to campaigns because we built the email in the builder and then we send it in the campaign section. We're going to add create a new campaign. And now we need to find that email that we want to send as a campaign. So type in the name that you gave your email template. Ours was post conference or event follow up email. Click on that one. It's going to give us the chance just to double check over it again. Give us any final edits, do any final check overs. So we'll just let that um, build, we'll have a little scroll through, make sure no formatting's gone out of place. So how we want it to look. Send or schedule. You can choose to send it now, schedule it for a certain date, have it drip release out or more. Now you're going to choose which email address you want your recipients to see when it is sent. Um, the sender name, the subject line, you can even put some preview text in there. Then you're going to choose the contacts you want to send this to. Is it a particular smart list or is it contacts from tags? Now when I uploaded this CSV file of contacts from this particular event, I actually tagged them all with a tag. So we're going to choose contacts from tag and then we can choose what the tag is so I gave them all a tag from the Gold Coast speed networking event and there is another video showing you how to bulk upload contacts and when you bulk upload them how to add a tag and this is what I do is um, there were a hundred people at that particular networking event so it's pulled all of those through and we're going to simply press send and that's it that's our email now sent if you have any questions contact us on support at techmatics.com happy tagging